again today aviation flew alice our uh, all-electric commuter aircraft for the first time uh, the aircraft it was a, 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 a just a wonderful experience for everyone who was here um, we were able to witness history uh, in the making uh, the flight lasted for eight minutes. Uh, we flew 3,500 feet uh, in altitude, and uh, we were able to complete our test plan uh, exactly as we intended to. Um, the aircraft, of course, landed safely, and we were able safely, pardon me, and we were able to uh, to then start our debrief. Uh, we completed our debrief. Uh, the next steps of what we're going to do are data review from the flight to make sure that our our flight models and uh, and you know our analysis matches um, what we predicted, uh, and uh, and then we'll go from there. Half of, the, half of the flights in all of the world are 500 nautical miles or less. And when you break that down a little bit further, what you find is that roughly 20% of all tra air travel is 250 nautical miles per less. In that subset of, of air travel, you find that the, uh, the aircraft that dominate that route length are very similar in shape and size to Alice, right? So you, they're, they're, they're comparable aircraft. So what we found is that the, the market that we're looking at penetrating first is that shall we say 250 nautical mile or less market. So we're looking at developing an airplane that will fly, you know, one to two hours, which is typical for that segment. So you know, 150 to 250 nautical miles with reserve. And, and that's what we're, that's what we're targeting for our, our initial entry into service.